Hey, in this adventure, I discuss why I bought the Illumina XL trailer, some of the modifications I did, and some I plan to do. Uh, first, I need to say that I'm not receiving any compensation for this, but if uh, the USA Trailer Store would like to uh, sponsor me, I'll give you my contact info. Uh, so the first question comes up is why a trailer? Why not? Why not just use a car or a truck or something? Well, basically, I love to ride a motorcycle and I love camping, but I want a little more comfort than what my bike uh, will provide on its own. So I needed uh, I need a little more space. Another answer is I like to do things that, uh, that people don't typically do. Uh, and I mean, in the gold wing circles, a lot of people pull the trailer, um, but outside of that, it's not that common. And I like to do things that aren't that common. So cargo versus camper is kind of the next question. Why do I go with a, a cargo if I'm looking for camping and comfort and not a, some kind of camper, like a bunkhouse or something? I mean, two, uh, camper is cool. Camper is cool. Tools Big Live showed how useful they can be, uh, how you can live in those things. I mean, that's what they did. So why did I decide on a camper versus the bunkhouse? Uh, it comes really down to versatility. I mean, campers do typically have good cargo space. But uh, if I wanted to do something else, like I wanted to pick up some big bulky item, um, it's not going to have that much space. And it's already, you know, the bunkhouses themselves are already heavy. So if I wanted to do something else, I could empty out my cargo trailer and then go do Costco or, you know, Sam's Club, some kind of big grocery shopping trip if that's what I wanted. Uh, when I'm camping, I can unload my entire a trailer now I got this huge space I can go pick up a bunch of something so it, it gives me that versatility that I'm currently looking for make a change I mean two of those big life use their bush tech for a while before they went to the bunkhouse I may follow suit I may not then also if I'm just spending like one night like up in Sturgis but Sturgis we're planning on doing two nights camping on the way up there um, so that's your a real quick set up sleep take back down uh, it looks like the bunk houses are, are okay to do that, but it's awfully big for just sleeping one night. Uh, so what I can do with this is I can take a big tent, or I can take a little tent, I can take both if I really wanted to. So I got that versatility of what I'm what I'm taking with me. Or maybe I want to do some hammock, bring a hammock with me. And technically, you could do that with a bunk house, and you open it up and bring a little tent, but you already got all that weight. And then I noticed uh, some of my camping I did, like Red Top Mountain State Park, uh, some of their camping pads are not connected to where you park. A uh, bunkhouse trailer wouldn't work for that because uh, I need to be able to park there. Where if I got a tent and a cargo, I just walk over and set my tent up. Although I will tell you, so far I prefer to, to stay where my trailer is near. I can use that to store stuff in that I don't need in my tent like food. If I'm camping someplace very primitive where there's no table available, I can use my cargo trailer for the table. And then uh, one of the last reasons uh, cargo versus bunkhouse is I saw this video from Two Wheels Big Life. So now we have Bush Tech versus the others. Right, so Bush Tech, um, they look great. I mean, they can match your bike. Uh, if you have a Harley or if you have a Goldwing, different generations of Goldwing, they match your bike. They use the same tail lights. Uh, they have a similar styling. I mean, they just look good. Um, the 16-inch wheels that they have, I hear, are just a dream to pull. I mean, actually, in early 2001, uh, I was getting ready to buy one. I had uh, ordered my trailer hitch, all this kind of stuff. And I was going to get that installed, and then I was going to drive over, because they're in Tennessee, uh, Bush Tech's based in Tennessee, and I was going to ride my bike over there and get my trailer, you know, going to place an order, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but then I, I bought a house, and all the money I, was, I had saved up for my Bush Tech went to the house, so I had to, had to delay that. And while that was delayed, uh, I was learning more about trailers, about what I thought I wanted to do with the trailer. Um, actually, at uh, Wingding 42 there in Springfield, Missouri, I talked to a lot of people with trailers, uh, trying to find out their their opinions on the Bush Tech versus the not Bush Tech, 
And one guy I talked to, he said that uh, those with uh, this kind of suspension, I, I forget what it's called. I'll, I'll put it, uh, whatever it's called. Um, he said they pull just as well as the bush tech, but you don't have to set the suspension. In the bush tech, you got to put the right amount of air in there. Although I think bush tech don't bounce. It's like this one, when it's completely empty, I think bounces around. And I'm thinking with a bush tech, if I just put the right amount of air in there, it still wouldn't bounce. It would be very solid and not bounce. The bouncing doesn't bother, but um, so like bush tech, but as I as I learned more about trailers, what I wanted, I ran across uh, well, I ran across a few people. I mean, Chris Caliente, he's uh, he's pulled a trailer for a long time. He's pulled a couple different trailers, and I like what he was doing. One one of the cool things he had had a video early on. We had his trailer, pulls up at somebody's house, and he like makes coffee or something out of the back of his trailer. And I, I just thought that was cool. It's like, I want to be able to do something like that. And I don't drink coffee, but you know, you get the idea. <clears throat> so why the Lumina XL? Well, you know, I've seen all these different trailers. Uh, I love the Bush Tech, but I, I uh, started figuring out how I wanted to use my trailer. Like if you're, if you're gonna go to stay to hotels or something, Bush Tech's great. You got your cooler for your trip. You got plenty of space for your clothing. Use a bush tech. But if you want to do camping, uh, there's a little bit more, right? Um, I ran across this guy, uh, Steve Allen, uh, Films Outdoors. He's got a Lumina XL trailer, and uh, he's he's done some modifications to it to make it fit the way he uses it. He uses it for camping, for fishing, all this kind of stuff. I mean, he's got where he can mount his pole, fishing poles on the outside. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, that's that's good because I want to use mine for camping. So I want to be able to attach things to the outside. And as amazing as the bush tech looks, uh, attaching things to it is not going to work. It doesn't, they're rounded. You know, they look good. They're contoured. They look like your bike. Uh, there's not really spaces to really mount things on there. And I'm afraid it would look hideous if you did. So if you haven't, if you're interested in the Lumina XL, you can check out uh, Steve, I think it's Steve Allen Outdoor Films or Films Outdoors, and uh, he's, got, he's got a really nice setup uh, with his trailer. Especially if you're in the in the fishing and a few of the things that he does, a little different than what I do, but we still like to do camping. So kind of the the final straw for me on why the Lumina XL versus the Bush Tech is uh, the Bush Tech carries about half the weight that the Lumina does. Um, and it's twice as expensive. So you put those two together along with, it doesn't quite fit my ideas that I have for use. I, I had to go with the, with the Lumina XL. Now then, why the XL versus the regular Lumina? Well, despite what some people say, the size does matter. Uh, with the bigger one, I can put bigger, bulkier items. They both carry the same amount of weight, so it really just comes down to more volume. The first modification I wanted to do was the Heim coupling. I've studied the Bush Tech enough to see how wonderful their method for connecting the trailer to the bike is, but I couldn't find these parts on the Bush Tech website, only the, the pin that goes on the bike. So I ended up with the smallest tractor top link at Tractor Supply. I got this idea from a forum discussion. Uh, the guy on there even showed how he super glued washers together to make the spacers needed. Compact uh, Camper, uh, they make parts for this, but the tongue would have been, have to have been modified uh, on the Illumina, so I opted not to. I'm a big fan of visibility, so my next modification was to remove the large ugly reflectors and use LED marker lights. I think this mod looks much better. Another mod I had to do earlier was to add auxiliary power to the inside of the trailer, so I wired that up. I already had the Bush Tech flat six connector for my bike, if you remember, that was my plan was to get a Bush Tech. So I needed to modify the trailer wiring. I used some automotive connectors to make these changes. Also used four diodes to make my five to four connector change. Uh, this allowed the blinkers and the brakes to work, but doesn't allow the blinker or turn indicator uh, to work when the brakes are on. I think that's okay. With these modifications, I took my first trip, and I have a separate video for that 2,000 mile trip. That's the one that ended up with a Kid Rock concert in there. My observations uh, after this trip was that the trailer pulls so easy, you don't even know it's back there. 
Uh, the fuel economy does decrease around five miles per gallon. I, I've seen that somewhere listed online. Uh, I do need uh, some more modifications. I'll I'll have that in just a second. Uh, the automotive connectors that I use are no good on the trailer tongue, uh, so I purchased a, a five pin trailer connector extender, cut that, and made my wiring much better. So future modifications, well I have this wonderful large Kodiak 10x14 tent. You can see the other videos for that. Uh, and this tent is great, but some places are small, so I want to take uh, my other tent with me. A friend and co-worker gave me this uh, 6 inch pipe that I'll mount under the trailer to carry my small tent. And this will allow me to quickly set up a tent without needing to, to dig in the trailer for my large tent. Uh, and see the other video on, on how I pack my trailer. Some of the other mods I'm planning on, I'm going to add a, a table to the outside of the trailer. I'm going to add a, a battery inside the trailer that should allow uh, my bike and solar to charge the battery. I'm thinking about a, a Rotopax fuel tank to the outside, uh, external storage for a portable power station and solar panels. Uh, I want to mount my propane tank to the outside and uh, we'll see what else I learn as I go. So stay tuned for future modifications. And if you have any ideas, please place those in the comments. This is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.